In this video, we're going to integrate Cisco's Security Management Appliance, or SMA for short, with SecureX. In order to integrate our SMA, we're going to have to connect it to the Security Services Exchange. To get there, I'll click on the Launch button on the left-hand side of the SecureX dashboard. I'll go ahead and click Login to have my single sign-on carry me right in. The first thing you'll want to do is to go to the Cloud Services tab on top and enable Cisco Threat Response and Eventing. As you can see, I've already done this, so there's nothing to enable. So I'll go back to my Devices tab and click the Addition button to add a new device. I'm going to keep the settings at the default and copy the token. Now I'm going to swing over to my Security Management Appliance dashboard and navigate to Network and then Cloud Service Settings. Next, I'll click the Edit Settings button and enable Threat Response. For the Threat Response server, I'll choose the closest server to me, which would be North America. Then I'll click Submit, and then Commit the Changes. After doing so, it usually takes about a minute for the cloud service to be ready. Just wait and refresh the screen. Once it's ready, I'll have a field to paste the token in. After pasting the token in, I'll click the Register button and register this device. It usually takes a couple more seconds after it's done to show the registration is complete. After that's done, let's swing back to our Security Services Exchange and refresh the device list. We can now see that our device is registered. Now I'm going to go back to SecureX and navigate to Integrations. Then I'm going to add the module for the SMA web module. From the drop-down, I'll choose the SMA from the available list. And for the request time frame, I'll just choose 30 days and click Save. I should now see the SMA web module as an active integration. Now let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to add some tiles for the SMA appliance into it. And I'll go ahead and add all the available ones for this video. So scrolling down and taking a look at our tiles, you'll notice right away that there's an exclamation point in no data. I've learned that sometimes it might take a few seconds initially for the data to register from the SMA. Usually you just need to click the refresh button on the bottom of the tile and the information will populate as you can see here. And that's pretty much all there is to the initial configuration to integrate my SMA with SecureX. Thank you so much for watching this video.